the late sage Obafemi Awolowo said, the worst civilian rule is better than the best military dictatorship. No matter how long they serve, we know certainly that dictators can't last forever. However, since 2020, armed forces have shortened democratically elected government in Burkina Faso, Chad, Guinea, Mali, and Sudan without severe outcomes. The coup in Niger Republic has raised a serious concerns about regional stability and democratic principles in West Africa. Niger brings the number of unconstitutional regimes to six on the continent. Four of the affected countries, Burkina Faso, Chad, Guinea, Mali, and the Niger Republic falls within the economic community of West African states, a block of 15 sovereign states created in 1975. As much as this coup remained a disgrace for Africa and were condemned by the leadership of the regional bloc, the ECOWAS, the military invasion has created a backward development for citizens of the affected countries. Now, let us ask ourselves, what is ECOWAS? ECOWAS means the Economic Community of West African States. It is a 15-member regional organization established in 1975 with a mandate of promoting economic integration and shared development of the West African sub-region. What countries are members of the ECOWAS? Is Nigeria one of them? The member states of ECOWAS include the Republic of Benin, Burkina Faso, Cape Verde, Côte d'Ivoire, The Gambia, Ghana, Guinea, Guinea-Bissau, Liberia, Mali, Niger, Sierra Leone, Senegal, Togo, and Nigeria. We need to know that the main objective of the ECOWAS is to promote economic cooperation among the 50 member states to raise the living standard of the people, promote economic development, foster peace and security, ensure policy harmonization and promotion of good corporate governance. The ECOWAS address the perennial security issues among member states by developing a peacekeeping force to attend to conflict within the region. Hmm. Despite steady economic growth in several ECOWAS country in recent years. The regional bloc still faces a myriad of security and socioeconomic issues that threaten to shake the region's relative stability and economic progress. This was recently seen in the truncation of democratic rule by military interregnum in some member states which include Niger Republic, Burkina Faso, Mali and more lately Guinea-Bissau. To educate ourselves, we should know that ECOWAS stand on a tetrad of peace and security, policy harmonization, that is trade facilitation, developing infrastructure and good corporate governance. But are the members of the state safe? Let us enumerate the few challenges faced by the regional bloc and the moves taken by the member states to address the challenges. As of 2007, an estimated 10 million apps were available throughout the community of West Africa, and this was listed as one of the causes of extended conflict. Also, Tuareg situation in northern Mali and Niger is delicate because they are people with a very different culture to bring under the central control of the state. Yet, one cannot ignore the criminal elements who engage in the trafficking of humans, cigars, arms, and drugs. The community has been working on it within the African Union framework because it is important to bring in non ECOWA states, including Algeria, Sudan, and South Africa, among others. Furthermore, the ECOWAS community has witnessed several military coups in some member states, the latest of which is the Guinea-Bissau, where the Khaki boys forcefully seized the government of West African country. With Guinea-Bissau, the member of the community under military rule has risen to four. Unfortunately, from Mali in 2021 to Burkina Faso and more recently Niger Republic in 2023, the military invasion has created a backward development for citizens of the affected countries. In response to the military junta, the ECOWAS community slammed a sanction on the affected country and this hurt the general well-being of the entire citizens across these countries. 
Of note is the gloomy economic situation the sanction brought to the economies of these countries. We interviewed a businessman who is an hotelier in Nehami, the capital city of Niger Republic, Isofu Isa. He said to him, the situation as it is currently obtained is that of all pervasive gloom with many citizens filled with tension and anger. With the ECOWAS sanction, the hardship is certainly similar in other affected countries. The affected countries tend to lose benefits such as preferential trade agreements, cheap commerce and access to regional markets. Military leadership comes with instability, insurrection and insecurity. With military leadership, the tendency for uprising among rival groups is high, and the rise in assassinations in political circles, human rights groups, and even pressure groups are tendentious. This is visible in the years of conflict rocking African countries like Libya and Sudan. All out military strategies are failed to curb insurgencies and end insecurity in Africa. Despite pledges to hold elections, cool leaders have prevented transitions to civilian rule. In Mali, cool leaders recently postponed presidential elections scheduled for February 2024. In Burkina Faso, the leaders appear to be reneging on a commitment to hold elections in July 2024, citing security. In 2022, Cool leaders in Chad extended the transition period while Gabon military has yet to set a date for elections. For ECOWAS, the existing juntas put more work on its shoulders. This cool stand condemned by the leadership of regional bloc, the ECOWAS. The consequence of this condemnation and sanction from ECOWAS led to the pullout by at least three of the militarized countries, which are Mali, the J Republic, and Burkina Faso. This pullout will not only affect this country in questions, but also the community as a whole. With the exit of these countries, there is a tendency for increased insecurity within the regional bloc. The enemies of sub-Saharan West Africa may use that as an opportunity to further divide the bloc that has served the interests of its members for nearly five decades. Who can never solve Africa's many challenges? However, Ending them will require a concerted effort that goes beyond condemnation. The ECOWAS community, remaining as one indivisible bloc, is the best for the region and its people. It must be stressed also that a lot of vested interests abound that would prefer the polarization of the regional bloc for their selfish economic and other primordial interests. It is therefore better that the economic community of West African states remain one. Every hand must be on deck to ensure dialogue that will ultimately put all the member states on the same political trajectory of good governance and democratic deliverables.